Okay, that's a very reasonable sounding suggestion. <clears throat> oh. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, and is there a saving throw for this, or is it just an auto success? Okay, so the way this works is uh, you suggest it, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. <coughs> On What's a failed save, um, the DC is a 15. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he, he repeats the same thing that he had said before then. Just, uh, if there was a way to remove curse, I would not tell you. I command you. No, wait. <laughs> it's only one word. I, 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 I say confess. Same. Is, what, well, is there between same us girls, Neil, he's casting the command spell. Yes. All right. I picked it up on that one this time. <laughs> he gave away his punchline a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> was... <laughs> How do, oh, warlocks don't normally get the command spell. You did some weird ass shysty shit to get it, though, right? Uh, if by shysty yeah. shit I took one of three options, which included <laughs> the command spell. Yeah, I, yeah, that's strange. It was shit. pretty dirty. Let's. <laughs> it was let's offered be to honest. me, and I, I took the uh, the option. Yeah, it was. I don't well, feel proud, I mean, of it, but I did it. He, he didn't take the halfling <laughs> luck, so it's already that. Yeah, that got kneeled kneeled out though. Yeah, no halfling look allowed. Fuck. Okay, so you tell him confess. Yeah. And he says, um, I do not know. I honestly do not know. Uh, ancient curse is meant to be unremovable. Uh, th there should be no way. So Karn kind of saunters over to him and looks back at the group and shrugs. Yeah, I, I kind of just throw my shoulders up in the air like I, if you uh, want to. It, before you kill me, uh, smelly orc man, how do you think you get into Joshua tribe to murder the chieftain now? Karn looks at him, squints really hard. Why would we murder the chieftain? And thinks and says to himself, uh, not murder. You are not coming to tribe to uh, kill chieftain for orcs? You are not no. uh, looking for a bounty on his head? No. No. Then what do you want with our people? You come to take our treasure? No. Or what, what do you want with elves? To give mirror. Uh, yes. Do not speak, dumbass. We oh. want to... <laughs> <laughs> Meet with someone and ask them if he wants to come with us, and it is not your chieftain. There's like yeah. a slight communication pause, Neil, and then mm -hmm. Karn would like to lean in and press his thumbs through his eye sockets. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, give me a post strength check then. As, okay. as he does that, I'm like. Eyeballing him. Razugol! Razugol is his name. Is it is it <laughs> D20 plus your strength? Yes, please. Uh, the plus your strength modifier. Oh, God. Can I try to stop Karn? Uh, Karn was already right there. You can try and okay. stop him, but I think he's going to, like, he starts pushing, and then you start trying yeah. to intervene. So that's a, a 2 plus 4, actually. Yep, I rolled a fantastic okay. 6. <laughs> he beats it with the fantastic 17, and uh, puts his hand, like, grabs hold of your wrists and keeps your hands from, like, actually eye-gouging him. Uh, and now the two of you are kind of, like, wrestling like that. Jen, if you, if anyone else would like to intervene right now, you may. I say, my, my, this is unnecessary violence. Jeez. <clears throat> I Just... shoot the man. That's talking about the unnecessary <laughs> violence. With an Eldritch Blast? Yes, yes. Give me Neil, a roll to hit. you have to ask. Please don't, please <laughs> hit this, because if, okay. Well. 13, that should be a hit. That should be, yeah, I mean, he's grappling, his shield is down, he doesn't have a shield, uh, so he doesn't get his dex mod, and you just blast his shit damage. Out. Okay. Um, <coughs> so he 
tumbles backwards, breaks his grip with Karn, and you know flies ten feet across the open plains, bouncing along the ground. And at this point, I think we should roll initiative. Okay. All right. Okay, 11, 12, 17, and... And 18 goes first. Uh, hold action. So I guess I just play at the end of the round. Cool. Uh, next person? Uh, Ryan. Is, is, yeah, is that next, or is the elf? Yeah, it's Ryan. Okay. Uh, we're gonna shoot him with a, a ten. Ten is a miss. Okay. Was that a eldritch blast? Yeah, that was that. Well, it would have been. <laughs> we shot the sand with that one. I see. Yeah. Um, Amos. Uh, yeah, I'm just shooting him with my short bow. Okay, he is Fuck does not have anyone Christ. adjacent to him. You well, hit the ground at his feet. He's elusive. Yeah. Um, and then Karn. Karn charges the distance and swings wildly. So That's I get okay. advantage. And oh, I'm... reckless attack. Gotcha. I'm raging as well. It's, that's what I always am. 2d20 plus 6. Or no, d1 plus 6. The 17 will be the highest, I suppose. Uh, that That's is not a crit. Hit, but it is not a crit, because now he's fully up and defended. Yeah. Uh, D12 15. plus 5. 13 damage. Okay, you hit him for 13. Uh, it is his turn, and he will take the attack of opportunity uh, that Karn gets on him as he turns and fucking runs towards the desert. <gasps> okay. Then I shall attack... It's uh, you right now, get advantage right? on, yeah, you get advantage on the attack because he's like attack turning his back and yeah. running. All right, one uh, d. And you're also recklessly attacking, so. Yeah, two d twenty d one plus six. Just twenty one. D twelve plus five <laughs> takes another thirteen. All the thirteens. You hit him, and he tumbles forward, but doesn't fall to the ground, and keeps running into Will, the desert. Do I get my attack? Hold on, he doesn't get two run turns. We're all we all take our turns, right? Well, I know. I'm just I saying that's what he's doing. Turn. He is okay. Also, Jen held her action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jen, yeah. That's true. Uh, you can get your action now. What are you? Uh, I'll do Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. This is actually a good application. Oh, we could slow him down. Ten. But so I guess it's not a hit. <laughs> ten is not a hit, but that would be perfect because then he would be slowed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I would like to <coughs> make a move action and run directly towards him, and then Eldritch Blast. Okay. Did I get advantage because he was like? Uh, to yeah, you should actually have advantage on that attack because it is a back attack. So I do another D twenty plus six. Oh yeah. Oh. The 25. slows. The slows. There you go. The crit That's a slow. hit. Yeah. So is he entombed in ice? Frost. He ate. Yeah, I think he actually just dies right now. And then we get. Oh, uh, thanks. She thanks, does right. the damage. Did we make a ruling on whether on spells critting or not? Is there a rule in the book for five E about spells critting? I don't think spells crit. I I, rem I vaguely remember <laughs> the conversation. Last time we about. said it, when you get twenty, you get crits if it's hit spells. Like if it's spells that you need to roll. He to changed that though, Jen. He's just asking if spells can crit. Yeah. So, but it, we have ruled that spells do critical, right? Yeah. I think they should. I think so. Okay. So, so they will critical for enemies against you as well, of course. Yeah. No, you know what, Neil? I, we haven't voted on that part of it. The more I think about it. <laughs> oh, chat's saying they do, so I guess we made that ruling a while Yeah, I, I seem to recall that they do. I just wanted to double check. Cool. So, 25 is, let's see, he's got an armor. He doesn't get dex for back attacks. That's actually just a 20. 12. So that is a double crit, Jen. Please roll three times damage dice as you hit the elf in the back as he flees. Uh, so 
five, six, nine. seven, eight, nine damage to him. And Ray of Frost reduces... Speed is reduced by ten feet until the start of your next turn. Um, okay, so he is slowed, running in slow motion as it becomes Dante's turn. Dante, you want to chase after him and... Yes, and, Eldritch and an Blast. Eldritch Blast, so... There's shot, and I have advantage, so I'm going to roll the other one, just to make sure I don't crit. Yeah. I do not. 24. 24 is a hit. Roll that damage. 10, ten damage. Okay. Eldritch uh, Blast! He gets hit, topples to the ground as he gets knocked 10 feet forward, <laughs> and yells out... In surprise and suffering, Amos, it is your turn. Uh, still getting advantage for back. Um, yeah, because he's prone now. Fifteen. Fifteen is a hit. Uh, is it's prone not a hit. crit? Oh, okay. Never mind. Fifteen is not a hit. No. Um, or not crit. You're asking. I thought it's a hit. Is it fifteen? No, no, no. Because uh, he's no longer like you're no longer attacking him from behind, so he does get right. his Dex mod as he's on the ground. He's like. You know, trying to get out of Wait, the way. I thought we are ta attacking him from behind. He's running away, and we're chasing him. No, but you fell. hit him with the Eldritch Blast, which pushed him, and he fell to the ground. Okay. So Can now I close the distance and get within five again. feet of him? Uh, uh, hold on. I just, I just want to, I just want to, for future reference, Eldritch Blast can cause knockdown. This is... Yeah, in, in certain situations, I'm ruling, like, you know, he's running, he's wounded, you hit him in the back... Okay, and fair enough. I just, I just wanted to know. It is it is written. <laughs> it is possible. It is not guaranteed. Okay. I, I look like forward Joe to that Pesci. conversation. <laughs> you like Joe Pesci right now, like Lethal Weapon. He's like, okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, all right, all right, all right okay. <laughs> we good. Oh, God. Uh, Karn, you wanted to... See, he did actually run 60 feet on his turn, so if you can chase after 60 feet and still make an attack, but I don't think you can. No, it's, so I run 30 feet, and then I'm going to hurl a javelin out. As I'm running, I kind of noose, or un, unhook one of my javelins and swing. Uh, no advantage though, right? Right. And you can't recklessly throw a javelin, can you? You totally can. <laughs> Sweet. Sassy molassy. 2d20d1 plus cx. A 21. 21 is a hit. Alright, and the damage is 1d6 plus 4. Here. 1d6 plus 4. 10 damage. Max! Uh, is that including your bonus to raging damage? No, um, no, it is not. Which is just plus it's plus two. No, I think I think they all do. No, the plus four is my strength, right? You get plus four to hit for strength. Just for hit. So then that is for, my for damage for strength. Oh, okay. So no, then my rage damage is what two more or something like that. Yes, yeah, so it should be another two. So twelve. Okay. Um, and it is his turn. He is splayed out on the ground. Uh, and for his turn, he lies there motionless. <clears throat> Mr. Varnoosh? I'm just standing there looking disappointed. Or sigh. That's it? I close the gap. And... <laughs> Elders blast him down into the ground <laughs> deeper. Yeah, I put my hand on the back of his head, and I Eldritch blast through the earth. Eldritch palm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna say auto, auto crit. I don't know. Roll me a bunch of damage. Um, um, and you about... probably just Eldritch blast his head off at this point. Okay. Sixteen. Sure. You you just Eldritch blast his head off. It pops off like a Jolly Rancher coming off a stick. Perfect. And just Nice. I, I yeah, spit on the good. corpse and I take my 30 gold. Uh, rooting around in his belongings, you find uh, the 30 gold that you guys had paid him, but you also find another 150 gold. Ooh. Uh oh. Does the other guy uh, have anything? Because I'm looting him. 
Yes, the other guy has 130 gold and 70 silver on him. So that's 310. Do you guys want me to put that in the lockbox? I'll yeah, give you I, all, all of that, yeah. I toss you the, the money pouch. Karn looks really excited as he puts it all in there. Is there anything else? Uh, like any, what type there of is are a sealed letter that is Ooh. addressed to a uh, Solmitar. I flick that towards Varnoosh. <laughs> you know what I like. <laughs> <laughs> he giggles at everything. It's my favorite. Sealed letter. Address to who? Soul Mitar. I, I typed it in chat for you. S O L hyphen M I T A R. Okay. Uh, I start dancing around detecting magic. My dance seems kind of sad. More like. What's it called? Contemporary dance or something? A sad dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually doing contemporary dance. It's very expressive and sad. You're doing an actual contemporary dance, like an interpretive dance? Yeah. You just start like doing the truffle shuffle and like. Yeah, because usually your... I do a happy dance when I do detect magic with Varnoosh, but right now he's doing more of a like. <gasps> you know? <laughs> <laughs> he looks up to the sky and he goes. <coughs> it begins to rain. You've confused it with the rain dance. <laughs> do they have any, uh, like. Oh, I guess I. I guess I ex expect that to be like a detect magic or something. So yeah, yeah, it wait. is. So yeah, Jen dances it would be funny if minutes. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wait. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I drag the other body closer to the other one. Get Karn to help me out. <laughs> when the spell ends, Jen, you do detect the presence of magic. The elf who is speaking for the both of them has a magical short sword. Was, Neil. He's dead now. The elf that was speaking for both of them has a magical short sword. Alright. So, I pick it up and I say... And the other one magical? has a magical necklace. <coughs> Ooh! I pick up the necklace and just put it on and I say, something I can finally use! Jen explodes. Explodes. <laughs> it's an amulet of dexterity. This is perfect for me. He <laughs> turns into a raccoon. <laughs> Jen just explodes turns into a raccoon. <laughs> I can use this. It's magical. Any stat. I do not care. It's an elephant sized uh, raccoon, though. <laughs> Jen, what, what is your constitution? Oh, he's pregnant. <laughs> uh, very bad. No, 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. okay. Please make a note on your sheet that it is now 19. Oh, shit. Holy shnikes. You Holy moly. You have the plus five constitution necklace. So does that mean I get a shit ton of health? Or? It means your yeah. semen is literally golden bullets. Tank news. No. no? Uh, so your, you've, your, HQ bonus, your con bonus is currently plus two, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now with 19, plus it four. becomes plus five. Plus it's five. So, five. Neil. No, four, because 20 if is five. If I put that necklace on, my constitution would be 21. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> you so think it is giving you a flat, uh, giving her plus, a, like a flat plus five bonus to con. It might not be. When we look at Mr. Varnoosh while he wears his necklace, do we notice any change? <laughs> uh, his, <laughs> his neck gets a little bit thicker and the veins start bulging out as if he was like a wrestler or I'm not a wrestler um, a, uh, a defensive lineman really mm -hmm. he just can go <clears throat> for his constitution being raised yeah I mean how else would you physically define constitution he's like really tough really like yeah. so do I get more armor class or more HP no you get more HP so you should get uh, you're level four, so you should get eight more HP. Okay. I feel like each time we are about to feel more experienced, we should put this necklace on beforehand. <laughs> this could possibly benefit us somehow. Okay. I, I do like the idea of the guy that 
never jumps into the fight, putting on this necklace real quick, and be like, ah, uh, yeah. Love, love, right? Next guy. There you uh, go. Jen, please mark on your character sheet, Amulet of Health. Yeah. In Jen's defense, though, she's also the most likely for Neil to send a wild monster after when she strays too far from the group to do this. It's true. It's true. It, in Neil's defense, handy. Jen is the only one who's likely to stray wild <laughs> far from the group and run into a wild monster. It's true. I really also wanted true. the Displacer Bear. Can you make that canon, please? The combination of the two Gen killers coming together in one beast. That'd be amazing. The displacer Bear? Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Sure. If we can get a few more subs for JP today, we'll we'll get a Displacer Bear in here. I like it. If, if it's like 20 people sub to JP, we'll totally get like Displacer Bears all over the place. There's I mean, some. that'll... Hmm? Okay. Um... <clears throat> so, as Mr. Varnoosh holds up the sword, who takes that? Cause, uh, yeah. Does anyone even use a short sword? Um, uh, I think I can, but it, I don't think I can dual wield it. Yeah, I, I, I can. I have a dagger, so I, <clears throat> it would be better than just having a regular old dagger, I suppose. For those um, times where you're not Elders Blasting? <laughs> Yeah, you know, for when I need to cut a rope, perhaps it's a dagger of <laughs> quicker rope cutting or well, something. Well, should I just take it and can I... I probably can't use a short sword. Could I? Wizards can't use weapons, I don't think. Uh, I can I use know. a dagger. I don't know about They can't wear weapon. armor. I guess they could use... There's a, a specific list next to her... Wizards can't use cutting wow. weapons, I thought it was, wasn't it? No, that's clerics. Oh... And that was Clerics in 2E. I don't know... I'm looking up the wizard right now. Oh, shit. GP, are you counting these? Uh, no, I don't have a counter running. <laughs> oh, no. Are you actually getting a bunch of subs? That's amazing. I think it's three. That's what Tat's saying. Three's pretty good. Where is the wizard... What weapons can you use? Okay. You can use darts, daggers, slings, quarterstaff, and light crossbow. So if you can use a, a short sword, but you do not get your proficiency bonus on it. So you get you don't get a, a plus two to hit. So you would just All get right. your strength. It would just be your strength or dex to attack. To hit. What, a, okay. what about a, a warlock? Do, does warlock have proficiency? Short sword. Um, simple weapons, and I believe that includes short sword. Yeah, you hit him with the, sh the the sharp part. Honestly, I don't think anybody would use it often. Well, we're gonna take <clears> it with like us. Me to hold on yeah, to of it? course. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, oh. No, short sword is a martial weapon. You you also would get uh, you wouldn't get the bonus of plus two to hit for your proficiency. Um, you know, you could always trade it, sell it. Unlikely yeah. to sell, it, but you could trade it. You could keep it. I think if if we could trade it for another magical item that somebody could use, it would be that'd be the best benefit. Yeah, well, Should we I need hold to... onto it, or do you want to hold on? <clears throat> you can, Varnish. As we're looting them, Karn kind of says to the group, "Rich, they seem rich." Yeah, this is probably not a good thing. Indeed. Someone handed Jen that letter, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I handed yeah. it to her. <clears throat> Is it magical? No. No, it's not a magic letter. Okay. I open it. It says, uh, written in Elven, Thank you for the goods. I hope continued business between our two groups will be useful for all of us. I have enclosed a slightly larger payment as a uh, token of my appreciation. <clears throat> Signed. There is no signature at the bottom. Sincerely, Orc Warlords. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's bury the bodies. These guys seem important. Okay. Uh, okay. Neil, as an <laughs> assassin, would I know a way to make sure they're not recognizable? Like if we burn them? If you burned them, they would be pretty unrecognizable. If you dipped them in acid, they'd be unrecognizable. Um, well, okay. If you 
buried them and they weren't dug up for a few days, they would probably be pretty, uh, for like a week or so, they'd be pretty unrecognizable. Okay, we'll throw them in a pit, and we'll set them on fire, then we'll just cover them up. Can I just cut them with my sword and they catch fire, Neil? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if you take out the flaming sword and just, like, hold it in your hand, like, when you hold it in your hand, it sprouts flames. So if you just hold it in your hand next to their bodies, it will slowly <clears throat> cook them. Karn looks really excited when the discussion of setting them on fire <laughs> comes up. He's like, wait! Shing! <laughs> Turns onto fire, and he's like, <laughs> and he just holds it to them until they catch fire. You burn the elves. It takes a little while, but now there are charred corpses lying in the grassy field. Great. Uh, Dante, can you clear some of the uh, the dirt with that spell of yours? The one that yeah, you I can... only seem to use? Cause it's I, your can... one? I will blast the rubble and scatter their bones to the wind. Oh, okay. Well, you that... Eldritch blast their body into pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's literally him just going... Eldritch Blast! Please. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch, Eldritch Blast! Blast. 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 Eldritch Blast! Eldritch yeah, with, like, Blast! Karn will be standing on the body, and then he'll come over and, like, hit the arm, and the arm will, like, tumble off into the distance and, you know, punt legs around and such. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we don't have to bury him or anything, because... Uh, well, I... Okay. D do we know where we're going? I think Elves Trap you think I the elves think are going to trap us? Face curse. She knew. Oh, oh, they would know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, should we go back to the temple? Or we just... have to figure out how to remove a curse. Otherwise, every elf we ever encounter gonna will know that we us, are yeah. elven grave robbers. Well, That's at least we can identify them as much as they can identify us. What? Smart. Yeah, we can. I. What? We can tell they're elves a mile away. What are you talking about? Exactly. <coughs> yes. They are as subtle as we are. <laughs> I just kind of like looked at Dante and I'm like, am I missing something? What? <laughs> it's not that big Let's of a Let's just go get the arm. Well, I, we could go for the orb, but I feel like. Figuring out how to remove the curse is more important. Yeah, and we also just took this deal from the this elf. It might be a trap, but she was working with the wizard, so I don't... I mean, she's an elf. She knew we were cursed. She was probably yes. putting us up to this just to get us killed. She was probably working with them, too. She might have been. It In very well the one paying them. And says, you are as wise as you are round, my friend. I'm not in a good mood, I'm sorry. It is okay. Alright, I guess we'll just... Yeah, yeah. Should is we go there, back to the temple? Or? Is there a great library that exists in this land that we know of, Neil? Yes, I know one. There you go. Perhaps we should go to the great library and find how to... They, they had asked Wait. for money in order to access it, but now that we do have money, we probably can. Lady with breasts, try... Trap us, she enemy. Yeah, I agree. Yes. If she if she was indeed trapping us, yeah. She elf. She, was. she knew. She's also a friend of that wizard, so that's why I don't know if it was a trap because that wizard was kind of nice. That wizard probably doesn't exist. I am a wizard too, you know. What are you talking about? We met the wizard and did a job for him like two towns ago. Mister F. Yeah. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I guess I have a better memory than most, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we need to figure out some with this curse. I'm not walking around with a giant curse on me. <coughs> can, can can we go back to the temple, Varnoosh, and maybe you could try to figure something out? If only someone said not to get curse. If only. <laughs> if only someone had warned us and. That's a really shameful thing that we just all did that without. <laughs> thinking about the consequences i agree he says that but he's like petting his <coughs> flaming sword like <laughs> yeah exactly uh if we go back to the temple varnish could you think you could see if there's maybe more information about the curse the temple where we got the curse oh the pyramid the pyramid sorry 
Oh, um, I don't know. Did we finish exploring it? I don't think we... You wanted to leave and you were throwing a fit. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I don't think we actually really looked into everything there. There might be something on the walls. I don't know. It's a pyramid. Yes, we could possibly go back there or try the very secretive li library that I was talking about. But what if it just says go back to the pyramid? Like we're here well, so we, we can... won't know until we try. How far uh, away I should is it? point out that you guys don't actually know the precise location. You had the ferry guide you last time. Uh, it, all you know is that the pyramid is out in the desert somewhere, and you don't know how to get there. Okay. Uh, well, let's take a break. We'll think about what we're going to do, and then we'll come back. So think about what you want to do, party. When we come back, we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going three hours, so we got one hour left. We'll take this break. We'll come back in our hour three right after this. More play Solemn coming up just a bit. Oh, actually, before we go, there's the link. You guys should click that uh, in Skype. We found it. If you would like to, uh, you know, just be careful. And if is you're going to do which it. Which one is this? Which, which one is if this? If you're going to do it, open it in the next 30 seconds because we're about to take a break. I'll do it. But you're oh, making God. this really, you're building this up a lot. Also, make sure Ed is not streaming, oh, so it doesn't. Oh my God! <laughs> Did you already look? Did you I... look? Yeah. I'm... All right, hold on. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I'm doing it now. Here we go. <laughs> no. Ryan, make sure your your monitor. Oh, Daddy! Oh, that. <laughs> Jen, are you looking? <laughs> Jen, are you doing this? You don't want it. You don't want that. All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys after the break. <laughs>